this is a secret that I've been keeping for quite some time on the channel. I've had this gun for around three months now, actually maybe even longer, and uh, I haven't done any videos on it or anything. And uh, today's the day, let's talk about it. So real quick, this is the EMG Helios UDP-9. Is it the ARP-9 killer? Let's find out. So it's obviously a PCC platform, pistol caliber carbine, and uh, I think it looks incredibly spicy. Now, I've been a big fan of like the ARP-9s and the PCCs for a long time now, but I've never actually owned one. My brother owned the ARP-9 for a little while and uh, sold it a good little while back. Um, so we no longer have one, but now we've got this one and I gotta say, I'm a big fan. I think it just looks super cool. The coolest thing about Airsoft is caliber really doesn't matter at all. So you could have like a 308 rifle and a nine millimeter rifle and they can perform the exact same. <laughs> So it may be kind of weird to be running around outside with a PCC, but you know what, it looks cool and uh, you know, it's a vibe. But that being said, let's break down this gun here. The main reason I haven't talked about this gun at all is because it actually took me a long time to get working. Uh, when I originally got it, it had some issues. In fact, I've never had a gun that's had so many issues, but it was a breeze to fix. Not a big deal whatsoever. Now really my only two issues with it were like the feeding and the barrel setup. It still got the original barrel in it. All I had to do was uh, take off the bucking. The bucking was like crusty when I got it. I don't know what was up with that. It was like hard, like it was rock solid. It was really weird. Um, so I just had to take that off and put a new bucking on and good to go there. Um, but yeah, originally when I was shooting it, it was just jamming a ton and the hop up didn't seem to be working at all. It was really weird. And also the other issue that was happening with it was the mag that it came with. It came with a mid cap, which was awesome. I was really excited with that. Um, I believe it was like a 120 round mid cap and it looked nice and everything, but it would just not feed. I don't know what was up with it. And it actually ended up like blowing up on me, like really, really weird. So then I went ahead and purchased the brand new, uh, at the time, AR9s by PTS. And these mags are beautiful. They hold 140 rounds. They look great, super duper cool, love them. So those were the only two issues with the gun that I had. And honestly, those were probably gonna be things that I would have replaced at some point anyway, get some new mags for it, which those were the mags that I was planning to buy for it. But also the barrel, that's something that I would have replaced probably anyway. So that being said, that's all I've done to it. How does it perform now? <laughs> honestly, pretty good. Um, it's kind of my backup gun or like my loner gun that I use for my friends. And uh, yeah, everyone who's used it has really, really liked it. I've run it a couple matches and I've had a good time with it as well. It's pretty snappy, pretty quick, and uh, just the gun feels fantastic. And kind of going off that, there was one other thing that I did. This was totally unnecessary, but I think it just improved the usability of the gun a ton. It came with like a PDW style stock on it, which I think is a pretty cool, unique look. Um, it's got like this kind of like half stock, but I replaced that for a buffer tube and a MFT style stock. And now I think it just looks absolutely gorgeous. But overall, this gun's really good. It's definitely CQB worthy. It's shooting under 350 FPS. So I'll maybe have to throw a new spring in there when we get outside this year. But uh, yeah, it's kind of just a backup gun and uh, it's definitely a fun one nonetheless. So it does have a micro switch trigger on the inside, which is also a really nice benefit. Um, so you can definitely feel that little click every time you pull the trigger, which is really satisfying and really nice. This gun was originally sent to me by EMG, but it ended up being a whole shipping fiasco. So I ended up having to pay out of pocket for it. So these are totally my opinions again, but overall I do really, really like this gun. I think it's very comfortable, very ergonomic, and I'm really glad that I've got a PCC in my collection now. I've kind of always wanted one and uh, this one just checks all the boxes. Now, is it an ARP9 killer? Well, that's tough to say. The ARP9 is a really, really, really good gun, honestly, especially with that version three coming out soon. Like, man, that thing looks awesome. I've been a big fan of G&G &G for a long time and they do produce some awesome products. Again, not sponsored by them in any way. Uh, nobody likes me, man. I'm not sponsored by anybody. Little interruption here once again. This video is sponsored by the YouTube join button. So if you are feeling generous, I would greatly appreciate it. If you would become a channel member today, it really makes a difference. And uh, yeah, I appreciate it. If you can't, a like, comment, and subscribe go a long ways as well. So I appreciate that 
as well. So the gun also comes with this nice 10 inch rail and lock and uh, it looks gorgeous as well. I really like the longer barrels on these PCCs. Uh, you see a lot of times they come with like a really short barrel like the ARP9 or whatever. Um, but I personally like the longer look because it's a bit more realistic to get the muscle velocity that you would need out of a nine millimeter uh, PCC. Uh, it just makes sense to have a longer barrel. So I'm really glad that this one does have that, something I would have done anyway. Just looks a bit more realistic and a little more cool in my opinion, a little race gunny. It also comes with this really nice like hand stop up front. And then I've also 3D printed one for myself as well to a bit further back, just to give me some added comfort there. The pistol grip is my favorite style of pistol grip. It's kind of the Magpul with the beaver tail kind of style. I know a lot of people hate those beaver tails, but I personally love them. So it feels really, really good there. Now, my only other complaint with it is actually the mag release. Um, I love that it's like a big flashy mag release, really quick and easy to hit and uh, pull your mag out and that sort of thing. And you might be thinking, why does he not like that? But it's really, really, I don't know if it's just loose or if it's too big, but I find I accidentally hit it a ton when I'm just like resting my finger, not on the trigger. <laughs> so like when you take your finger off the trigger, I usually rest my finger up on like the side of the receiver and that's right where the extended mag release is. So you just always hit it and your mag always falls out. It's nice with the PTS AR9s though, because they are a little bit more sticky and you have to use a bit of force to get them in and they don't quite just drop freely. Um, so I don't find I'm dropping them nearly as much, but with the stock mag, man, that thing was dropping out all the time. It's driving me nuts. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this gun. It's kind of, again, my backup and uh, I really do like it. Something I plan to keep for a long, long while. And uh, yeah, I think it looks really neat. And uh, everyone who's used it in my friend group has also really enjoyed it as well. So really appreciate you guys watching the video. Thanks so much. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. We will see you in the next one. Stay awesome. Peace.